Seton Hall University inaugurated its Donald Payne Senior Lecture Series with a diplomat the late congressman mentored, National Security Advisor Ambassador Susan Rice. I miss Congressman Payne. Thinking about his quiet passion and the tenacity he brought to every challenge, we could sure use him with us today. Ambassador Rice says Congressman Payne was passionate about putting the spotlight on Africa. He was the first American leader to call the horrifying slaughter in Darfur by its rightful name, genocide. Passionate about ending the atrocities of civil war in South Sudan. I had the great privilege to share with Congressman Payne one of the most joyful days I've ever experienced. When the people of South Sudan finally realized their dream of independence. And I'll never forget the image from that day in Juba of world leaders coming over to thank Congressman Payne for standing with the people of the world's newest nation. Had he lived, it would have broken his heart to see South Sudan descend into conflict, as it has mine. At home, Rice said Payne displayed the same kind of leadership. It was true for the kids he met on the streets of Newark. Congressman Payne wanted them to know that when they looked at him, they could see for themselves that there are no barriers to achievement. Payne died of colon cancer three years ago. His son succeeded him in Congress, and today he was emotional in welcoming Ambassador Rice. So on behalf of our grateful family, we'd like to say thank you. Donald Payne Sr. graduated from Seed Hall University in 1957. After listening to Ambassador Rice today, his family says there was not a better way to launch this lecture series in his name. As it was mentioned, my brother was a, a, a gentleman, quiet man, very, uh, who uh, never ever drew attention to himself, however, was very deeply involved and concerned about the man's inhumanity to man. I think that this was a marvelous way. I think that she was a perfect beginning, and we will see more of this. Ambassador Rice told the audience the world needed more people like Donald Payne Sr. to help with mounting human crises, making peace, and preventing war and disasters. Michael Hill, NJTV News.